All right, hello again, folks. This is Billy the Avenger, and I'm going to show you guys how to install the No Bite Trigger right here. 1873, that's right. This is a two piece trigger system containing the upper and lower trigger, brought to you by SureHitProducts.com. You can get this at Slicks Magic Guns. It's an F and D gunsmithing product and very well made USA so I'm going to show you real quick how to install it and I'll show you an easy way and then I'll show you a more in-depth way too uh, in case you need to disassemble the gun for some good cleaning. First make sure the gun's unloaded which I've already previously done but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and double check it. Alright nothing in the chamber. And... Alright first we want to start by removing the stock which there's two screws. We have this one here and this one. And then to get the butt stock off, we simply just need to smack our hand right here. Sometimes you do have to use a rubber mallet. Alright. Let's go ahead and take our side plate off, remove this screw right here. Sometimes these side plates stick a little bit, sometimes you gotta smack them a little bit. Remove your side links. Uh, pin. Next we want to go ahead and loosen these screws. You can take them all the way out. Most of the time I don't, just so I don't have to reassemble it, a little extra work. And so you just want them springs Set here on the side. Remove your lever screw, followed by your lever. Then you can lift your carrier up here and lift your lift arm out, followed by your carrier. Next, we want to loosen. Actually, we're going to go ahead and remove these. I'm going to show you guys the more detailed and how to take out the lower portion of it. Two screws. And some of these guns are a little tight in here. Basically, we're taking this whole lower assembly out. The hammer comes with it. And sometimes you do have to cock the hammer. Basically, I'm going to squeeze right here. Just kind of work it back and forth. Now on this one, I'm going to take a brass punch and simply put it in here. I don't mark anything up. Kind of give me some leverage here. Uh, there we go. We'll see. There we go. And you guys might have a uh, spring, look something like this in here. So basically I'm going to press the lever safety here and hold on the hammer and go ahead and let it down. If we get this out, we're going to drive this pin right here out using a block or a 2x4 uh, with a hole drilled in it. Simply like this. You get it about halfway out, and if you remove your punch here, the lower half of the trigger will come out. Like so. Just go a little bit farther. You can take the pin all the way out. There I did. And the upper trigger will come right out. Once it's out, we have the new trigger here. 
and we're simply just going to hold it in place. This little section here is where your trigger spring goes. You'll see it right in here. Now once we get everything lined up here, we're simply going to take the pin, insert it, and then drive the roll pin out. So you want to line the rear screws up first. You'll notice I still don't have it all the way installed here, but my screw hole is lined up, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. Don't tighten it all the way yet. Go ahead and install the other side. Go ahead and pull that down into place. Reinstall the carrier. Followed by the lift arm. Followed by the lever. And the le lever screw. Which this one's just a little shorter than your side plate screw. Alright, at this point you want to go ahead and tighten these rear ones up. And go ahead and reassemble the links. And don't forget to put in side springs. Hold by your side cover. install your buttstock. Next what I'm going to do is loosen the screw here and here. Now simply I'm going to pull down. Sometimes you do have to cock the hammer. But I'm simply just going to pull down like that. Basically what you're getting is this pin right here. And this might be a little tough if the gun's never been disassembled.